What's going on, guys? We're closing out News of the World. This is My Melancholy Blues, composed by Mercury. There are no backing vocals or guitars. Deacon played fretless bass on stage during this song, but used a regular fretted bass on the record. That's interesting. Wonder what's going on with that. But yeah, we're about to do it. My Melancholy Blues. Let's do it, bam. I'm left cold sober Baby left me For somebody new I don't want to talk about it Want to forget about it His voice it. is right here wanna be It's great intoxicated with That special brew So come and get me. Oh. Let me. Okay. Get in that sinking feeling that says my heart is on an all time low. All right. So Dig it. Don't expect me. Yeah. Oh, this was Don't the imitates jazz track. Because <laughs> I'm headed for that stormy weather soon. Mm. Okay. Stormy weather. Imitates jazz, okay. <laughs> I mean, the best part was the piano and the vocal. Really. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, nice. Nice. I like, uh, you know, I like jazz. You know, I know that this isn't jazz, you know, in that kind of way. I get it. Imitates jazz. Yeah, even that, just that whole, like, bass thing at the end where I just kind of laughed because I'm like, okay, I hear, like, if this were like it what would tell you that this isn't jazz is if you were to hear this song being played by an actual jazz trio <laughs> like 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 legit played by like a real jazz trio but the reason why this is nice to me is just composition wise right uh song wise but also uh freddie mercury because you can't lose <laughs> you, you just you just you, you just can't you just can't because i haven't heard it yet where i'm like no freddie no haven't heard it yet every single time it's like god damn that guy can freaking sing 
<laughs> God damn, that guy's really good. He's got great control of his voice. That guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> that guy is just super easy to listen to. <laughs> you know, he's easy on the ears, right? There you go. There you go. It's great. And his vocal is like right here, just right here. It's great. Great. And the piano sounds great. I mean, yeah, they're not swinging or anything like that. You know, they're not like, you know, the drums aren't, you know, the drums and the bass and even the piano, you know, is where, I mean, really all of it, I suppose, but that's where it's like, okay, imitating jazz. It's like, okay, this is jazzy. This is jazz influence. You, you hear where we're going with this. We're implying jazz. <laughs> yeah, we're implying jazz. That being said, I still liked it. You know, I still like it. Yeah, yeah, very nice, different for them, different. I'm glad that there wasn't any guitar on that, frankly. Yeah, cause uh, I'd be, I'd be scared. I'd be a little bit more scared, I think. But I'm sure Brian would do fine. I'm sure, he would do fine. He'd figure out something to play that's appropriate, right? Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Okay. Um, let's get into a little bit more of this. Uh, well, let's get to what I think first. Okay, We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions. Obvious smash hits. Just freaking smashes. Sheer Heart Attack, really not into. Just not really into that one. All Dead, All Dead, I think is nice. I think that's cool. I think that's a nice, uh, like, a, like, a, like, album track. A nice album track, for sure. Spread Your Wings, mm-mm. Fight from the inside. Surprising. I like I like that one. That one and Get Down, Make Love, I think are really cool. I really want to hear them again. I want to hear them again. Uh, Sleeping on the Sidewalk, I think is cool. Like an older uh, blues style. An older blues type of feel. I liked it. I think that that worked. Who Needs You, I didn't think worked. I didn't really. I, I just wasn't into it. Let me just say it. Put it that way. I wasn't into it. It's late. I thought it was cool. Like that one also. Um, and I like my melancholy blues. So there you go. Overall, the ones that I'm most surprised by is uh, fight from the inside and get down, and make love. Those are like even more than my melancholy blues. My melancholy blues, I thought was a nice and different and a surprise also. But those other ones just kind of stood out more to me and differentiated more to me than even my melancholy blues my melancholy blues i mean we already got uh we already got you take my breath away you know like the piano vocal type of thing right i know it, like stylistically it's different or whatever but just those two things we we are we've had right so while i still like that track fight from the inside and get down make love to me are the two just glaringly different queen tracks that i think they did really well on it's like different for them but they did well like it, it was cool it's cool yeah fight from the inside especially just because of how i led into that track <laughs> like, it, like really you know i mean yeah i can't i can't i can't act that you know i can't act that uh that video again, <laughs> you know, where I just like talk all that shit. And then I listen to the song. And I'm just like, okay, I like this. This is really cool. Actually, this is wow. Okay. I'm wrong. Wow. Yeah. I want to hear it again. Cool. Okay. Now let's get into what's going on over here. What does this say? News or world initially received mixed reviews, mostly reflecting on the album shift towards a more minimalist sound. I didn't think that was bad at all. Honestly, I didn't think I didn't think that was a big deal at all. I, I actually kind of think that was nice because you've had for how many records now them just assaulting you with multi-track, multi-track vocals, multi-track guitar, just like crazy. This kind of is nice in that way, I, I think. Um, shift towards a more minimalist sound and away from the band's previous pre predominantly progressive rock sound. I just don't think of prog rock. When I think of prog rock, Queen never comes to my my mind. Still doesn't after hearing what I've heard, you know, up to this album, right? Still doesn't come to my mind. To me, they're just a rock band and they're theatrical. 
they're a rock band, right? And they kind of, I mean, I know I get that that may be just oversimplified, but they're a rock band. Okay. Washington Post commended the band's experimentation within a range of hard rock to soft rock. Right. I mean, yes. While Rolling Stone magazine said uh, most of the songs on News of the World either challenge Queen's artistic enemies or endeavor to establish a vision of the new order. Further dismiss the album as the salient fictions of which today's top 10 albums are made. I don't even know what half of those words mean. For the Village Voice in 77, uh, this dude, Robert Criska, I see these people's names reading this all the time. Anyways, said that one side of the album is devoted to the futile rebelliousness of the doomed to life losers, those saps, you saps, who buy and listen, while the other is devoted to songs about indecent women? What are you talking about, dude? What are you even saying? Fuck that guy. Okay. Daily Mirror held it as the most intriguing Queen album since their finest sheer heart attack. Okay. Co commenting that whether all the obvious tension within the band will spur them on or simply pull them apart remains to be seen. Obvious tension. Interesting. What else is going on here? Uh, although sounds dismissed side one as foreboding, they reacted positively to side two, particularly praising my melancholy blues. Interesting. Valley News criticized it as being tamer than the band's first four albums, but concluded that Queen still pulls off top honors, particularly praising the production, Mercury's vocals, and May's guitar work. I mean, okay. <laughs> In a mixed review, Record Mirror described News as Queen's strip down to almost basics it's not a bad album but any by any means but it could have been better how i mean i could tell you what i think how but how <laughs> retrospective reviews of the album have been generally positive all music noted the eclecticism in comparison to the day at the races describing it as an explosion of styles that didn't seem to hold to any particular center praised May's contributions for giving the album some lightness and concluded that when it works, it's massive, earth-shaking rock and roll, the sound of a band beginning to revel in its superstardom. Uh, in Cream Magazine's annual poll, voters, uh, readers voted News of the World as the 19th best album of 1977. BBC Music said that the album is an exceptional showcase of Queen's unerring ability to sound absolutely like no other group. Yeah, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Even when parodying other musical styles. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, Greg Cott of Chica Chicago Tribune gave the album a generally positive rating and observed that Queen had ventured deeper into stadium rock, while Sputnik Music also noted the relation to stadium rock, calling it the great arena rock wonder with very few flaws. Okay, 40th album release prompted several more reviews, The Quietest calling it a work that had swagger and attitude, that's accurate. While Louder Sound wrote that despite damping down their instincts so punks wouldn't spit at them, they still sound like flamboyance has burst through the wall, riding a Harley and wearing a tiara. Okay. They wouldn't have said that at the time. Uh, I don't like that because they wouldn't have said that at the time. They're saying it now, just knowing everything that they know about Queen and Freddie Mercury and all of it. That's why I'm not crazy about that. Several publications have held it as one of the band's greatest albums. Okay. Okay. NEM ranked it as uh, the best Queen album, describing it as their sharpest, surest set. While uh, the Daily Vault praised it for being the best mixture of musical styles they had ever achieved in Queen's creative peak, you know I might agree with I might agree with a lot of that, frankly. Let me look at the song list again. I might agree with a lot of that because it was very different, very varied, uh, and a lot of it they pulled off. Really, a lot of it they pulled off. Sheer Heart Attack. I mean, you know, I'm going to go over the ones that I think they didn't pull off again. Sheer Heart Attack. The thing that I think was the weirdest about that was just the perceived drop in production quality all of a, all of a sudden. Like, you went from 
we will rock you and we are the champions that sounded fantastic to this garage rock sounding almost production style like just just didn't sound as crisp and clean and you know and again maybe that was on purpose because it's like a punk song or whatever but that on top of the song is just kind of eh leaves me being like yeah how do you make the album better to me how you make an album better is you get rid of the weak songs so sheer heart attack spread your wings who needs you bye you get rid of those you got eight songs they're freaking solid write two more that's what i that's how you make a better record period you know you get rid of your weak tracks and you write better tracks you write better songs so, but yeah, I mean, really though, overall, this is a, this is a good album. Overall it is. I think it's going to be hard for me to pick albums in that kind of way. Cause it's just so, I don't know. I, 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 there's not one that's just so glaringly obvious. That's the thing. I, I remember really liking sheer heart attack. I remember that one I thought was really good. Uh, I'm just looking, I'm just going back right now. This is a, uh, a day at the races a day at the races had good stuff on it also i don't know if i like this one better than a day at the races i might i might like news of the world better than a day at the races i might yeah i might all right and then um a night at the opera death on two legs is really good lays on a sunday afternoon afternoon you're my best friend 39 no this is a better record <laughs> No, this is a better Night of the Opera is actually a better record. Yeah, no, this is a better record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a better record. I think. Sheer Heart Attack. All right, this one, it's been a minute since I've been on. Brian Rock, Killer Queen. Uh, this is... Now I'm here, that's a, such a good song. This is a really good record, too. Damn. Okay. Yeah, Sheer Heart Attack is a really good record. And uh, so is... A Night at the Opera. Wow, I like A Day at the Races less than these three albums. Wow. All right, now I'm looking at uh, Queen 2, just to bring it back even further. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, The Loser in the End. That's right. I forgot about that song. Queen 2 is cool. It's just different. It's like them. It's like a different period, you know? It's... It feels that way. It feels like it's a different period. And then Sheer Heart Attack was a turning point. And Sheer Heart Attack is a really good album. And then uh, A Night at the Opera is another really good record. Day at the Races is a good record, but not as good as the other two. And then I think this record here brings it back to closer to the level of A Night at the Opera, Sheer Heart Attack. But I like it better. I think I like it better than a day at the races. I think that's where I'm at. And Queen One, I mean Queen One has is is fine, but you know it's a first record. It's not like some smash first record in my opinion. There was cool stuff on it, but there's also just first record stuff. <laughs> you know that's I know that that's vague, but okay, very cool. Very cool. I mean, you know, they're a great band. And I'm really glad that I'm going through this stuff to hear so many tracks that I think are really cool. And also to find out that I like Brian May's songwriting. That, like, as a songwriter, I like Brian May. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Great. Cool. Very cool. And, you know, I don't think I learned anything new about Frey Mercury. He's, you know... He's on the pedestal. <laughs> the guy's ridiculous. He's he's just not another one. That's that's it. Okay, so next we got jazz. This will be interesting. Also, because uh, they're bringing up David Bowie Lodger. Ooh. All right, I'm not gonna. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not gonna read anymore. I'm not gonna. Not gonna read anymore. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I think this is a really good record. And I'm down with it. Yeah, definitely. I know, that, you know, there are those couple that I wasn't crazy about. But overall, it's 
still a really good record. You know, if I'm like an eight out of 11 tracks, that's a pretty good record. That's a pretty good record. Cool. All right, awesome. Thank you guys. Catch you in the next video.